What's up, Nintendo Gamers? The Kid here with another The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword update. A lot of news has been revealed. New trailers, everything, spoilers, you name it. It's been revealed. Um, Nintendo Power and Ingamer have had some facts that were put up and people are now uh, have those facts I won't like Game Informer. I won't be able to go through them all. I will announce some of them, some of the good ones, but not them all. So I'll have links posted down in the description for you guys to see the sources of all the news I'm talking about. Also, for the trailers, the new trailers that have been revealed from IGN and some facts from IGN from their preview. So let's get on with Nintendo Power. Nintendo Power has revealed a lot of stuff uh, in their preview, and it's an overwhelming amount. It's just so much, you know. Um, also, with Fee's name, it is Fi, and it is spelled F-I, not P-H-I. So, her name is Fi, so no one will be confused about that. So, let me go through a fact or two for, from the Nintendo Power, and then I'll get to the end gamer. Sheikah Stones, much like in Ocarina of Time 3D, returned to give Link video hints. So, yeah, hint videos will be in the game. So, um, that's cool and all, but uh, a lot of people seem to not like that. But, you know, I'm fine with it. Um, more facts. The Knight Academy is the name of the school system in Skyloft. And that has been revealed before, but... Um, now it's, you know, pretty much official. Um, Link and Zelda are very close friends and have been since childhood. If you look at the new trailer I posted for uh, Link and Zelda, uh, they're not just friends. Uh, well, at least Zelda doesn't just want to be friends. There's a lot of stuff there. Um, another one. Um, birds of Skyloft are known as loft wings, so that's pretty cool. They have a official name in their loft wings. Uh, Link's rival name is Groose, and he's somewhat a bully to Link. And there has been speculation that Groose could possibly be Ganondorf's father because of, uh, you know, similarities with the red hair being tall and stuff, but I think that's a little far fresh. And Link has two partners at his side called Crawlin and stretch you know you gotta have lackeys when you're a bully i guess and there's always gotta be two um zelda's father and his name i'm not sure if i'm pronouncing this right is giapora last with a ho 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 likely meaning um he is or related to kiapora giapora from ocarina time that owl so how is he related to an owl i don't know but, you know, I would be insulted if I was him to know that I was related to some owl. Um, some more stuff here um, about Girahim. Girahim is seeking to resurrect his master. So, again, Girahim has a motive and he's not going to be alone. So, the thing about this is Girahim might not be the final boss. So... That's uh, interesting news indeed. Um, you also be able to power up your equipment and stuff with different ingredients and uh, enemies from enemies and uh, other things. And there will be a storage system for Link to have so he can store different items um, that he can't fit in his inventory um, at the time. It's been confirmed that there will be several new races, including the Magmas, which are the uh, little diggers that um, reside in Elden Volcano. And also, they give Link the digging mitts and the uh, a bomb bag. So, that's pretty cool. And uh, enemies will be inhabiting Elden Volcano. Uh, I think they're called Bokoblins. Bokoblins, not sure but they'll be inhabiting Skyloft.
well, not Skylar, but the Elden Providence. So the Mo- uh, Mogmats are kind of frightening them, so they ask Link for help. There are lots of items that are within houses and buildings that can be interacted with. That's pretty cool. And also, there will be a woman character who will help Link um, with a Sheikah um, emblem on her shirt that will help Link and encounter him various times throughout your, uh, your quest. And also... IGN confirms that uh, the Sky Realm, which is Skyloft in the whole Sky place, will be the main overworld, and Hyrule will be cons- uh, constrict restricted uh, hubs and uh, dungeons. So, a lot of people are saying that they're kind of mad about this, but you know, because of Wind Waker and stuff, you had to go to different islands. I actually liked the Wind Waker. And I liked it, the whole stuff with that and finding treasure. So I'm fine with it. So that's what uh, some of the things Nintendo Power has said. And if you want to know more about what they say, um, I'll post the link to all these facts um, in the description so you guys can hear it straight from the horse's mouth and uh, all that. So with IGN's preview... They had a lot of new trailers and stuff, and they also confirmed that this game will be long because they said that the uh, opening of the game, which is, you know, not even having your garments and stuff, um, will last at them seven hours. So before Zelda even fell and got gobbled up or anything. So that is kind of spectacular that... It, the game is just going to be really long and stuff. So, man, I mean, uh, that's a lot. So, I'm going to get to the end gamer uh, facts right here, magazine facts, and, um, you know, tell you guys a little bit. Again, I won't go through all of it, just some of them. Um, and here I go. The Mogmas patrol the volcanic area, um, and also in gamer. In Gamer says it's the toughest Zelda yet, and that's really cool if it's the toughest Zelda. Cause I thought, I thought uh, Ocarina of Time was hard, so this may be harder. So that goes a lot with what I thought. Uh, you know, it will be a little bit harder. It also says that Fi has an I- icy demeanor, which I don't think so. And you know, but uh. Yeah, and also, guys, these new pictures in the video are from IGN. A lot of new pictures of Fee and stuff, the, the Skyward Sword. And also, Nintendo Power has confirmed that the Skyward Sword is not its name for the Sword Link Wills. It's called the Goddess Sword. So, that's really new. So, if you guys were wondering, um, there will be a, a mine track powered up by Rainbow Energy. Don't know how that uh, works. And, um, yeah, that's some of the stuff from the end gamer. Again, post the description, um, the link in the description and stuff. Um, now, IGN has had a lot of new videos and stuff. So if you go to my channel, and I'll also put the descriptions and, and the links to the videos in the description box for you guys to see, You'll see um, a new tr- three new trailers, one demonstrating how to link, use Link's sword. It's a sword tutorial trailer, um, an opening trailer with a bunch of new scenes f- with uh, Fi, uh, Link, and Zelda. And you will see a, a, romance, uh, a romance trailer, which I called uh, the Zelda romance trailer. Um, it really shows a lot about Link and Zelda um, coming together and stuff. And they're really, really intimate than other Legend of Zelda games. They're actually just completely out there. Um, you can see in that trailer, you know, Zelda coming, you know, within kissing different, uh, uh, within kissing distance of Link and stuff. She's close to him. Uh, they're sending each other's letters and stuff. It's just like a classic love story. And actually, this is what two one first time Link and Zelda ever been 
showing some affection towards one another in the Zelda series. I, I don't think i ever seen a series where Link and Zelda seem so, you know, intimate to actually, you know, go out with one another. But, you know, that's uh, – <laughs> that maybe I'm wrong. Um, but – if you see that trailer and you hear the music, which I believe is orchestrated and hopefully part of the the Skyward Sword C, uh, soundtrack, um, it's beautiful. It's very beautiful. I love it to death. You guys got to listen to that. Um, obviously, it's just a sample of the music, but hopefully it is part of the official soundtrack, which I hope someone uploads on YouTube because I will favorite them and favorite them and stuff have that. It's just beautiful. If that's how the music in Skyward Sword is going to be, then so be it. It's beautiful. You know, I think this game potentially can be game of the year, but because of everybody likes first person shooters and stuff and overlook games potentials and the game doesn't have HD and all the mainstream stuff that people want, it probably want won't but it definitely has that potential i from other sites i i predict either a 9.5 or a, a few points up 9.8 or something or just a 10 this game is looking just spectacular and you know the game is long seven hours in the opening that's just pathetic i mean seven hours in the opening is how much i play a game well not even how much i play a game in a day that's more than how much I even play a game. So that's that's going to be tough. Like I said, um, I'm going to review this game, and, you know, the review may come out in, like, uh, January or, or February because this game is long, and, you know, I'm not going to be the type of person who just skims through the game just to get a review out. No, I'm going to enjoy it, I'm going to love it, and I'm going to like it. So I can enjoy it. I'm not just going to play it and get through and skip through everything um, just to get a review out, and which I think most reviewers do. That's why uh, I know they get the games ahead of time. But really, if you pay attention to their reviews, you can't. Re they're not really in depth, so um, they don't. They only talk about the main stuff. They don't talk about the knickknacks and and the cooler stuff. So that's what I'll be trying to get into. So I predict that uh, my review video will probably be up to 18 to 15 minutes long on this game and also with my other reviews for uh kirby and stuff so um that's all the news and um also head over to the skyward sword japanese official website they have some new things of course you can't pronounce anything or spell out anything if you're not japanese but it has some new pictures and stuff and some new uh some new knickknacks and stuff that you can find there. Um, what I really want Nintendo to do, I, we're getting a lot of screenshots, but we're not getting a lot of official art that Nintendo Power, Game Informer, and, and Gamer has had. Um, like Link in a box art. He, uh, I want that art, you know, uh, the box art where Link is holding up the Master Sword and stuff. I want that art. I've seen that in the Nintendo Power issue it was in there, and, you know, I want that to uh, be released, those artworks. And, um, you know, the, the Fi artwork is long overdue. Just more artwork in general because, you know, I'm a, si uh, a signature maker, so I like to render that stuff and make signatures out of it. So it, it gets me really excited when new artwork comes out if you're a signature maker like me. So... Yeah, and also I'll reveal a few more facts from uh, Nintendo Power, and that is that the beam, uh, the sword beam attack, is also is really called the Skyward Strike. So that's cool. You know, it makes sense. You got to point your your sword um, skyward and then slash it down for a beam. Um, and also, um, uh, some other things I'm trying to see that I can reveal real quick to you guys. Um, there will be a, a uh, master quest, and there will be a boss battle uh, boss battle options, I guess, when you finish the game. So that's pretty cool. 
So the game will, you know, with Master Quest, it'll be harder. I'm not. I heard that Master Quest is mirrored. I'm not sure, but hopefully it's not. That'll just be confusing and discombobulating. Um, that you know, kind of like Mario Kart Mirror, uh, the Mirror uh, Grand Prix. It's kind of discombobulating, and it kind of just throws things off. But hopefully, um, it's just a harder quest. Maybe even some new stuff. And uh, yeah. So, guys, uh, what do you think about everything I said? Um, all these facts, again, the trailers. Um, watch the trailers, too, and then come back to this video and comment. Or just comment on there, on the video's uh, comment box. And tell me what you guys think about all this news. And look at the, the sources and find out all the news you want at your own risk. There are a few spoilers I'm going to tell you right now. And, you know, tell me about it and let me know. Comment below. So, uh, that's it for this update. I'll be doing more updates on The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword as more things are revealed. Thanks for watching, guys. Please like and subscribe. Thanks. a few more facts from uh, Nintendo Power and that is Nintendo has also confirmed that there will be day and night segments but not um, transitioned to them. They will not be transitioned through some time amount of day and then it will turn to night. Link must sleep for this to happen so yeah and also has been confirmed that choices will be made far as Link um there will be good response, a neutral, and a negative response. So um, you'll be able to choose these uh, particularly with Zelda. Um, so I don't know what that means. I don't know if that means uh, that the this that some choices will affect the game anyway. Uh, I don't know, but hopefully not because that will just... I mean, it will add replay value to uh, want you to make you want to play through again. But really, it will just be, you know, a little bit of a bummer if it did change a lot of things. So, yeah. the 
the beam, uh, the sword beam attack, it's also, is really called the Skyward Strike. So that's cool, you know. It makes sense. You got to point your, your sword um, skyward and then slash it down for a beam. Um, and also, um, uh, some other things I'm trying to see that I can reveal real quick to you guys. Um, there will be a, a uh, master quest, and there will be a boss battle uh, boss battle options, I guess, when you finish the game. So that's pretty cool. So the game will, you know, with master quest, it will be harder. I'm not, uh, I heard that master quest is mirrored. I'm not sure, but hopefully it's not. That will just be confusing and discombobulating. Um, that, you know, kind of like Mario Kart mirror. Uh, the Mirror uh, Grand Prix. It's kind of discombobulating, and it kind of just throws things out, but hopefully um, it's just a harder quest, maybe even some new stuff, and uh, yeah. So, guys, uh, what do you think about everything I said? Um, all these facts, again, the trailers. Um, watch the trailers, too, and then come back to this video and comment, or just comment on there on the videos, uh, comment box and tell me what you guys think about all this news and look at the the sources and find out all the news you want at your own risk there are a few spoilers i'm going to tell you right now and you know tell me about it and let me know comment below so uh that's it for this update i'll be doing more updates on the legend of zelda skyward sword as more things are revealed thanks for watching guys please like and subscribe thanks